And this is what you want to be testing. If I, I had one guy, for example, true story, and this was a while ago, he bought Toronto real estate, and he was on the right-hand side, just like I clicked there that you saw me, uh, and he had been paying to be in the right-hand side, pay-per-click, for about almost a year, close to a year, Toronto real estate. And it was costing, this was a while ago, so it was still relatively affordable, but still costing him close to $1,800 a month to be on the right-hand side. Today, you couldn't do it for that on the right-hand side with Toronto real estate. Maybe now you can because the market has slowed down. But when it was really competitive, you couldn't. And he said to me, Gabrielle, I'm not getting any emails. That's what we call conversion. Okay, his point. Just because they visit your site doesn't mean they're emailing you. Okay, so remember, you pay the second they click, I cost them $1.75. Don't tell them. <laughs> now, keep in mind, okay, that that's not what you want. You want people to click there, but you want them to fill out a form because now I have a potential customer. That's what we call conversion rate. What is your conversion rate? How many are actually emailing you? And he was getting no one to email him. And I, and I said, how long have you been doing it? And that's why I said, start with the keyword phrase, start with a small amount, you know, a small, small amount just to test it for a few days. And if you're not getting emails right away, then here's what's happening. A, maybe it's the wrong keyword phrase. B, it's your website. The content on your website is not attractive enough, is not keeping them there long enough. There's an analysis that you have to do. So anyways, I said to him, do you want me to do a quick analysis? He said, yeah. I said, okay. So I clicked on his link and sure enough, as soon as I click, it's, it's what's called the landing page. When you click on that, like you saw me click on this guy's site, that was the landing page. Uh, in his case, it took me to a form. You know, if you want to buy a house, what are you looking for? Three bedrooms, you know, this, this mm -hmm. wanting to buy a house form. And I said, who told you to make the landing page this form? And he said, the people who designed my website. Well, let me tell you, I have three rocket scientists that work for me. Trust me, incredibly brilliant. I wouldn't ask them how to market to save my life. They hate people. They don't know the first thing about people. They don't know the first thing about marketing. They're programmers. You know what I'm saying? All they do is write code. What's wrong with your site? In his case, and what's wrong with your little ad, uh, the, the pay-per-click ad, uh, it could be that. Uh, anyways, uh, long story short, uh, in his case, it was the form that was the problem. And I said, your problem is the form. Change the landing page. You can change the landing page every 15, every 15 seconds. I mean, you have total control. It's just copy-paste a link. You know, you have an admin section you can go into when you're doing pay-per-click and you can change your landing page as often as you want. And he said, well, what's wrong with the form? I said, let's look at it this way. Somebody just walked into your real estate office and the manager says to you, they want to sell their house. It's your, your turn. Go and talk to them. And you walk in or I walk in and you're the customer. And I say, here, fill that out. I'll be back in five minutes. And I do that. I don't say hello to you. I don't say, can I offer you a coffee? Thank you for visiting our company and sit down. I just slap a form in front of you. And I said, that's what you've got. So he said, what do I do? 